hello and welcome to this channel i am your auntie auntie joseph you know what we do here it's an adult channel you come in we discuss sexual issues we discuss sexual problems you need therapy you leave a comment down below we i leave you my whatsapp number we go on whatsapp we talk we we text we talk on you know we, we the calls we can make calls so that at least you know people can find peace this, this is what really makes me happy giving people peace giving people therapies that work herbal therapies that work you know and stuff like that so thank you so much for joining and i'm finishing on this topic of libido because people people tend to lose their sexual libido so much due to stress due to exhaustion due to hormonal changes due to medications and things like that so i was just trying to discuss certain things that you can do that can actually ensure that your libido stays proper round the clock okay i know that is not easy but uh, it is healthy at the same time see now spices i had already talked about fruits i've talked about zinc i've talked about exercises diet i have talked about alcohols in chocolates that are so good for your sexual libido now today i would like us to discuss spices 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 these are spices you can add in your food you can add in your sauces you can throw some on your on your smoothies you can chew number one cloves cloves increase blood flow in the body okay they boost energy too okay you understand and it relieves stress and anxiety that is why so many people with premature ejaculation because anxiety is the major cause of premature ejaculation so many people with pe reach out for cloves it has an energy in it that just preserves the body relaxes the mind gets rid of anxiety so that you can enjoy sex you can chew cloves they're very good for the teeth too but at the same time chew some i've seen people who just put at least two to three every day on their tongue you know just keep it in the mouth for some time and then of course chew and swallow awesome amazing okay it increases nervous stimulation which of course will increase arousal okay and testosterone production number two ginger ginger is a natural blood purifier you take ginger you realize that after some time you feel strength strong you feel energized to work okay then there is a way it works on the digestion ginger is very good for the digestion because we say the other big factor that is causing erectile dysfunction and all these problems it starts in the digestion system okay so but ginger is so good there is a way it 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 stimulates metabolism food digestion so that you are able to empty your bowel on time and then you know once you're empty once your bowel is empty you realize that you get some very good appetite okay and this is very good for sexual performance ginger ginger in certain cultures is treated as an aphrodisiac so take ginger the easiest way is to add ginger in your tea if you take tea in the morning it's very good in milk tea when you're taking your black tea if you're taking your coffee half teaspoon excellent every morning that's a super way of ensuring that you take ginger every day let me talk about garlic garlic is high in allicin and what allicin does is that it promotes blood flow good blood flow in the body and the other factor about garlic is that it is excellent for the heart and we say the heart is at the center of all body functions sex in itself takes a lot of energy and that requires a good heart so if you take good uh, if you if you take garlic it promotes good heart health and then of course you can be sure that your sexual performance and libido will be at a good place allow me to talk about basil i love the sweet smell is in basil i think i have come across basil twice in my life it's not the kind of thing that is so common okay and you know what the italians call it they call it kiss me nicolas it is good it increases sex drive simple like that okay i love you to talk about pepper cayenne pepper there is so much power in cayenne pepper healing power and at the same time there is a way it causes warmth in the body when you take it and you realize that it is it's it kind of like that warmth stimulates your body and this is what leads to good sexual drive good sex drive yeah and there is a way pepper i i always challenge people to think about think th about this think about continents or countries where pepper is highly consumed china japan india nigeria okay and the latino countries pepper is a big thing in their diet look at the populations 
Pepper is known to promote fertility in women, number one. Number two, you know, because it stimulates the body, that means now even your blood flow in the vessels starts now to move in a healthy manner. And that blood flow, like I always say, is what promotes good erections in men and lubrication in women. So reach out for pepper. And pepper is also very good for the body, for the heart. Okay. And we've just spoken about the heart. Okay. So take a lot of pepper in your diet. Pepper is amazing. And cayenne pepper in particular, because cayenne pepper is also a, an anti inflammatory. Ginger too is anti inflammatory. Yes. It gets rid of pain in the body. And cayenne pepper, there is a way it, it, it colors, excuse that red color in it. Eh? And then, like you're doing your meat. And you add cayenne and the onions, you know, all that, and the oil, and you put in some meat, some chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> the sauce, the colors. Cayenne is amazing. And it's so easy to use because one thing about cayenne is not that it's not so spicy, like hot spice. But the benefits to the body, awesome. Saffron, very rare, very expensive. And you also use it in very small quantities because there is a way it affects. The body okay like it has certain side effects when you overdo it okay but it is excellent it increases sex drive and is an excellent mood buster now i'd like us to finish with the nutmeg nutmeg have you seen indians the way indians use nutmegs oh, i admire indians and the use of i mean indians and food they take nut nutmeg it's like a nice small round ball like this they chop it into spy into slices they have they have a, a machine actually a tool that does that and then they wrap it is in 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 some green leaf and they chew that those of us who can do, not do that we we, uh, we can add nutmeg in bread it's excellent for baking cookies and scones and all that baking stuff now, what nutmeg does is that, number one, it is a female Viagra. <laughs> That's the beauty of uh, nutmeg. And then, of course, it increases sexual libido. Libido, libido. You take it off it, you realize that your sexual desire won't die. You know, there are people who go for months without desiring for sex. You, they, you know, you're sleeping with your partner in the same bed. There is nothing really going on. There, there's, but the libido is just gone. Very little stress. Their, 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 their relationship is, 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 at, is at a good place, but the, 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 the desire is gone. Sometimes it's just about what you're eating, certain fruits, certain spices, exercising. It is, it is like I have discussed. So thank you very much for choosing to watch this video. I hope you've learned something. Put these spices in your sauces, in your soups, pepper in your food, in your smoothies. Chew some garlic. Choose some nutmeg like an Indian. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Okay. Personally, I use ginger in my tea every morning because I'm a tea person. I don't take um, uh, coffee. So I put a teaspoon, uh, and it's it's been amazing, particularly for my digestion system because I have IBS, which is from my mother's side of the family. My IBS was bad, but ginger has put my IBS in, 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 you know, it has really dealt with that nonsense. Ginger is amazing. So take any of them, cloves, uh, ginger, garlic, basil, cayenne pepper, nutmeg, and saffron. Anytime. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you really need therapy, we can do these things on WhatsApp. I do it like all the time. I'll send you my WhatsApp number so that we can talk. You need herbs. I'll send you good herbs, natural, 100% herbal, no additives, good for the body to heal you and to, you know, to help you come out of whatever it is that you're dealing with. Thank you very much. Love you.